the Kansas City Chiefs uh, had a linebackers coach, Britt Reed, who is the son of head coach Andy Reed. His contract expired after the season. He was not kept around. One of the reasons, presumably, he wasn't kept around is because of the incident that occurred the Thursday night before the Super Bowl. Britt Reed now charged with DWI, Class D felony, facing a prison sentence of one to seven years, according to 41 Action News in Kansas City. How about this? 0.113 blood alcohol concentration that is 0.033 above the 0.08 legal limit in every state now an, an analysis concluded that reed was driving 83.9 miles per hour i hope that wasn't the speed at the time of impact of the vehicle that was parked my goodness but uh a, a horrific situation. We've talked from time to time about the five-year-old girl who was horribly injured and will have permanent injuries, according to the reports that are out there. But Britt Reed facing uh, prison and uh, his coaching career may be permanently on hold. And there are still unanswered questions about where he was drinking at a time when the pandemic limits the options to go out to a bar or a restaurant. And when you're at work, the week of the Super Bowl, practice meetings, in your office at the facility what did the chiefs know and when did they know it i think that's going to be a question that ultimately is explored not by the criminal process but by the civil process when an effort is made on behalf of the people who were injured in this accident to find compensation for the medical bills that will be significant that already are and will continue to be if there are permanent injuries. You look anywhere you can for somebody who may be legitimately responsible. And if there's an argument to be made that the Chiefs knew or should have known that, that Britt Reed was engaged in these activities and he went and got on the car, you know, it's tougher than the typical dram shop case when you prove that you served someone who shouldn't have been served. But if there's a legal theory to be articulated and if there's reason to say that the Chiefs knew or should have known what was going on, Shereen, that may be a, a path that this eventually takes in the effort to find compensation for the expenses that will arise as a result of this of this incident that was sparked by Britt Reed. And such a tragic story, Mike. And I think another lesson to everyone, don't drink and drive. In this day and age of Uber and Lyft and everything else, there is no, and there never was a reason to do it, but far less reason now with all the share rides available that, that you can get so easily. So this is just another lesson. Don't do it. And, and, and don't do it multiple times either. I mean, that's another thing here. You know, if, you, if you've done it once and made a mistake and got away with not hurting anybody or killing anyone, don't do it again. I mean, just just don't. Don't drink and drive. That's the lesson I'd one, one of the most significant changes in our society over the last 40 years has been the dramatically increased sensitivity to the issue of drunk driving, the fact that the people who do it are made into pariahs, as they should be. And nowadays, this thing we carry around that there are so many bad things about, one of the good things is you press a button and a car shows up. And if you're too inebriated to press a button and have a car show up, then you definitely shouldn't leave where you are, especially not with your car keys. It's that simple. I remember there was a time 10 years ago or so, pre-Uber, pre-Lyft, pre-ride-sharing apps, where the NFL and NFLPA had yeah. a system available where all you had to do was call it, and players were reluctant because they thought the information was going to go back to the teams. Nowadays, you do it all on your own. It's no big deal. It's 10, 15 bucks. It's, you get home. And you are safe, and more importantly, no one else is at danger because you're behind the wheel of a 2,000, 3,000-pound steel machine that can wreak all sorts of havoc. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.